Right, question six. Use the substitution. Shh. U equals one plus L and X to find that. Right, we know our substitution works. If we're doing a substitution, the first thing that we're going to do, oh, is write it properly, is differentiate it because we need to replace the dx with du. So we first we're going to differentiate this straight away. And if we differentiate on x, we get 1 over x. Now we're thinking, how can we replace uh, dx? Well, then we can think of this as being du is 1 over x dx. Now we have to do our substitution, but remember we have to substitute everything. We have to be thorough with this. So the integral is going to become, well, ln x. A few of you missed that we could substitute ln x. If 1 plus ln x is u, then ln x is u minus 1. So that top line is u minus 1. There's a, a 1 over x times dx. And 1 over x times dx is du. So that's our du sorted. And then we've got 1 plus ln x, so that's u squared on the bottom. So that's what we're looking for first, completing our substitution, getting rid of all of the x's, and getting to that stage. If you've still got x terms hanging around in here, then you can't go any further. You need to get it completely in terms of u at this point. Now, what then puzzled a few people was we've got, we seem to have u minus 1 over u squared, we've got a fraction here. There were attempts to use the product or the quotient rule, which of course are all about <laughs> differentiating or integrating. Um, Actually, this, is, this could have been core 2 at this point. It wouldn't have been a particularly easy core 2. In fact, it couldn't because the next stage wouldn't have been core 2. But this unpacking fractions, this is, if we split up the common denominator here and think of this as being u over u squared minus 1 over u squared du, then actually we are integrating 1 over u, the u is cancel out, and that we think of as u to the minus 2. So that's natural log of u, and if you integrate u to the minus 2, be really careful about integrating things properly when they're easy. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, that gives us u to the minus 1 over minus 1. It's so annoying, isn't it, when we do all the difficult things right and then do the simple things wrong and write u to the minus 3 over minus 3 or something, you know, go the wrong direction with that. Um, so this is natural log of u plus 1 over u. Now we need to undo our substitution that we did. So we've got the natural log. It feels a bit weird to have natural log inside natural log, but there you go. 1 plus ln x plus 1 over 1 plus ln x plus c. Don't try and do any more with that. That's fine. That's your answer. All the marks are there. And that's maths.